Hello virtual friends! Welcome back to my channel! Let's proceed with the negative or cons. Um, by the way, happy 2,800 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Maybe you remind me to go to my previous videos because my channel is not just positive. Of course, if you want to know the negative, I'll also share that. It's a little limited for the cases that we have in the nursing home. Um, dahil most of them are stable na um, chronic na yung cases nila hindi ganun ka complicated syempre ang mangyayari nun guys your skills will just be con or just concentrated unlike sa hospital napaka comprehensive um, sobrang exposed na exposed ka sa mga critical um, patient condition or dun sa mga post cardio surgeries um, yung mga complicated na cases yung mga nagaagaw buhay na nagde-deteriorate maghahang ka ng maenotropics um, more of IV medic medications ikap lagi pang may code de ba lagi mong nire-revive sobrang daming exposure daming knowledge um, parang ang galing-galing mong nurse pero kasi sa nursing home, pwede naman yung exposure mo kaso napaka-limited. Gaya dun sa amin guys, um, sobrang konti ng IV. Alam mo yun sa isang taon ko, parang limang beses lang ata ako nagkaroon ng pasyenteng naka-IV. Tapos pala guys, yung pinaka-exposure mo dun, di ba halos wala kaming IV. Pero, ikaw yung mag-extract ng mga labs. Yung halimbawa, yung mga blood, ikaw mag-blood draw, ganyan. Kasi, kasi yung ibang clinic, wala silang designated medtech. Kaya, ikaw yung mag-blood draw nung dugo. But still, very limited yung mga skills na pwede mong magawa dun sa ganyong facility. Ang tuti! Mining ang baby! Ang sniff, wala silang eh, meron silang mga NGT feeding. Sa amin, wala. Tapos, halos lahat ng mga gamot is oral medication. Mga injectables mo, siguro mag-inject ka ng mga numo vaccine. Mag-inject ka ng mga, ano, yung mga antipsychotic na medications. Insulin injections, but not much. Hindi ganun kadami. More on wound care, treatments, ganun. Sa sobrang limited, Nagigets nyo ba yung sinasabi ko na hindi ko guys sa hospital? Iba talaga yung hospital experience guys kesa sa nursing home or sa SNF skilled nursing facility. Yung alam mo yun, yung adrenaline rush mo pag pumapasok ka sa hospital. Napakalax kasi sa nursing home eh. Although, napaka-busy kasi ang dami mong patient. This will not be the same as if you are a hospital nurse. Number two. For me, it's a uh, hot na maging super attached ka sa kanila. Kasi sila-sila na yung pasyente mo. Every day, magiging friends mo sila, not just a patient. But you, were, you will develop a certain um, friendship with them. Parang ganun. Ay, lagi-lagi mo silang kasama for for how many months already? Tapos, biglang, alam mo na, syempre, end of life na minsan. Um, kasi, tanda na sila, ganyan. Medyo, ma-hurt kang maalam kasi, syempre, lalo na pag favorite mo yun eh. Minsan, nakakayak, pero pinipigilan mo na lang kasi, di ba, kailangan maging strong. Minsan, malulungkot ka kasi wala na sila, ganyan. Then, number three. Paulit-ulit ko tong sinasabi. It's very exhausting mag-work doon. Although, kapagod din naman sa hospital. Pero, skilled nursing facility, yung volume mo ng pasyente, ang dami. As in, can you imagine, um, our census is almost 50s. Um, 
yung iba daming nag-comment dun sa mga previous vlog ko mas malala pa sa kanila but yung sa amin almost 50 and we will have two nurses so imagine hatiin yun sa dalawa kung ilan yung hawak mo kahit puro stable pa sila but um, there's a certain resident or patient na more than sampu yung gamot niya Kunwari, more than sampu yung gamot niya. Mga oral meds lang naman. Pero may CBG check siya every, like, three times sa shit mo. Tapos, syempre, pag medyo mataas, um, insulin injection pa. At hindi lang isa yon Meron pang ibang CBG monitoring din. Paano pag um, hypoglycemia pa, i-refer mo pa yon Kailangan ma-stabilize mo pa yung blood sugar niya. Exhausting then. Tapos what if though with those 20 patients or more than 20 that you have, um, what if tatlo yung na fall or apat yung na hulog and ang dami mong kailangan inform and there's so much documentation that you need to do because um, even just half an inch of skin tear that the member had or the patient had, kailangan mo yun it thorough um, it document thoroughly. Dami documentation, guys. Another thing, number four, you will get. Ewan ko ah, pero kasi dito ko lang in experience, but maybe at the hospital, pwede din to mangyari. But there are times that you will get kicked, you will get hit, or you will get punched. Sa gantong facility. Because some of them already have um, dementia or. Kasi yung sa amin meron memory care unit. Them hindi na ala nila alam, wala na sila sa sarili. Biglang maninipa, lalo na pag nairita sila, biglang mananakit. Yung be cautious na lang din to protect yourself. Kasi meron pa lang talaga mga ganong pasyente sa ganitong setup. Five days. Um, dito kasi sa nursing home, mapapractice mo yung autonomy. Kasi title here is you are a supervisor so <laughs> that means um, supervisor slash charge nurse slash medication nurse so yun ang papel namin dun sa previous um, facility but some other facility they have their own charge and they have their own medication nurse but kami yun ang ano namin so hindi naman siya talaga supervisor na supervisor no Ano, parang syempre kasi ikaw nagde-delegate sa mga CNA. So when there's an emergency, there's a little help that you can get. Kasi ikaw na nurse, walang doktor, walang accessible na doktor, you will just have on-call providers. So you will need to decide on your own nursing judgment or on your own clinical judgment kung ano dapat mo gawin. Halimbawa, um, merong emergency kung ano yung gagawin mo first, ikaw lahat ng um, magde-decide kung paano, kung kailangan mo ba siyang isend sa hospital um, first, tawag ka ng on-call provider, minsan mahirap pa silang kontakin kung kailangan mo na bang tumawag ng 911 help, konti ng help, hindi lang naman yun eh um, paano pag halimbawa, meron new equipment halimbawa, yung wound back um, hindi ka sanay gumamit ng one back. Biglang nag-alarm na nag-alarm. Um, almost all of your... Almost all ginawa mo na, chinik mo na. Kung may air, kung may leakage, kung anong problem. Kung may problem ba dun sa wound or what. Almost lahat in exhaust mo na. But since ikaw lang naman yung nasa area, ikaw lang yung nurse don at yung other nurse, syempre... Pwede kayo magtulungan pero in exhaustion na lahat-lahat pero wala pa din kasi nga wala nga doktor. Tapos meron ngang doktor, um, on-call lang. Challenge. Kasi most of the time, you are just on your own. Hindi ka guys sa hospital, dami-dami nating health, di ba? Um, Anjan si medical resident, pag sa hospital, daming nurse, meron kang charge nurse. Uh, mayroon iba-ibang station na pwedeng hinga ng tulong. Pag nag-code, within a few minutes, nandiyan na agad yung um, code team. Yung ganun. Um, yun, ang mga feeling ko, mga negative 
things na meron sa skilled nursing facility. Who, if I will give an advice to those who are um, nagdadalawang isip kung pipirmahan nyo ba or what, para sa akin, for your own growth and for experience, it will be best if you will choose hospital over a uh, skilled nursing facility. Maganda pa rin na nakahasa yung knowledge mo every day. Mas matindi kasi pag sa hospital. Iba yung learnings na makukuha mo every day. Kasi di ba may mga critical na mga kaso, mga pasyente, ganyan. Diyan kasi sa SNIF very stagnant. Kaya nga, ngayon, di ba, naghanap ako ng work. Mas gusto pa rin nila talaga yung hospital experience. So, mas maganda yung entry mo dito is hospital experience. Pero kung wala talaga choice, kung nursing home talaga offer sa'yo or skilled nursing facility, pwede mo naman siya gawin stepping stone and depende na yun sa discarte mo. Pagtagal, kung paano gagawin mo, kung anong path yung gusto mong i-take, yun. Ito pa din talaga hospital is the best kasi kung gusto mo mag-transition sa mga work kagaya ng if you would like to be mo mag case management for example mas malaki yung chance na ma-hire ka pag may hospital experience ka so yun lang guys i hope um, this video gave you an idea on how it is working in a skilled nursing facility um, compared to the hospital so Sana naka-help kahit papano, kahit konti. I wanna know your thoughts about this video. Um, please leave a comment down below kung, kung nagkaroon kayo ng insight or idea. Or, or um, doon naman sa mga nag nakapag-work din sa skilled nursing facility. Please share your experiences down below para makatulong dun sa mga um, co-nurses natin na papunta din dito. Or mga naguguluhan sa pagti-decide kung mag-i-design na ba sila ng job offer or what. So, yun lang. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on my next one. And please drop your suggestions down below. Bye, guys! Um, lagi tayo mag-ingat. Alam ko naman, alam na alam ng mga nurses sa mga precautions for COVID-19. But still, um, stay safe, everyone. God bless us all. Bye!